Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 1st of November comes to you from London. And I've had lots of questions about the price targets. So I'm going to just do a little bit more explanation today as to how they work. Here we're looking at the dollar index. This is the daily chart. That's medium term. This is the 60 minute chart. That's short term. And I do have long term weekly charts here with the targets as well. And this is a really interesting one here. The, when they're in orange, they're unactivated. That means that they uh, need to. We need to move higher to activate that buying thrust. Here we see a selling thrust. We need to move lower to activate that selling thrust. If this moves higher, this target turns green. If this moves lower, this target moves, turns red. So at the moment, we've got this tussle going on long term on the dollar index. So that's really quite key. And looking at the daily chart, we're above the cloud, but no real clear targets here because there hasn't been any buying thrusts recently. But on the 60 minute chart, we've had a buying thrust last week. That's the buying thrust there. That's the orange target. This is the activation level. We move through that activation level and then we will get a green target to 109.50. Uh, so that would be quite a big move on the dollar. So interestingly, we're seeing that dollar strength coming through. If we look at the euro, of course, this is a converse of the dollar. We see here the downside target potential uh, to 102.30. So really quite interesting. On the Japanese yen, we did see we've got this target to 155. That's been sitting there for a while. Uh, and at the moment, we're waiting. Uh, if we look at the 60 minute chart, we, we're waiting for that to play through uh, there. And interestingly, we started moving yesterday towards this target. But this morning, we're watching a divergence away for the target. That's one of the really big advantages of these targets. These are point and figure targets on time based charts is that we get to see when we're starting to diverge from the track. And that's a, a, an important aspect of using these targets. Uh, so if we look at some of the markets, we've got the NASDAQ. Uh, the key thing on the NASDAQ is we're, we're very well aware that we've got this downside target hanging over us. A couple of mini upside targets. If we move lower, we activate that downside target. So that's really what we're watching for. And if we look at the futures, we look at the S&P future today, it's down about a third of a percent. Again, we've got that downside side target that's the that's the that target was given back at 43.77 we've got at 40.20 is the target and we're moving towards that we do have a little upside target that's where we're currently following and we maybe we just didn't quite get to this target on the downside there and again looking at the nasdaq uh really quite interesting here that we've got this downside target uh moving lower uh, but again, it's the case that these little upside targets are, are playing through at the moment. Uh, taking a look at some of the other things, we've got gold. Uh, quite interesting here, we're seeing this uh, move to gold to, uh, to the 2000 level. Just can't hold that 2000 level. A little downside target given to 1969. We got to 1975. Uh, so that's really quite key. Watch for the targets there. And, and of course, you can go even short term. And let's just take a look at the energy mix. Uh, so we start by looking at Brent crude. Um, and we see here on Brent crude that we uh, got this upside target potential to 126 if we move to a new high. We've got this downside target. We rolled over this morning. Charts are rollover adjusted. Uh, and interestingly, we had this target given back at 89 last week. That's where we got to. 84.77 was kind of where we got to. Uh, and so we are just short term bearish there. And of course, you need to go to the one minute charts if you want to uh, look lower there. Now, US nat gas has been an interesting one. This is actually given targets to the upside here, really strong upside targets here. On the daily chart, we've got targets to 369, that was met. Uh, we've got 396 is the next target and 433. So in the spring, it looks like on US nat gas, we're going to break $4. We've got these short term targets to 411. So it may actually happen much faster uh, and another one waiting to be activated there. So US NAC gas really running. We're at the 350 mark at the moment, having got as high as 365. Uh, so that's the, the highest we've seen for quite a while uh, in gas prices. Now looking at carbon emissions, this is a very interesting one. We have got these 
downside targets on the short on the short term 60 minute chart a little new upside target generated today so that's looking quite positive and on the daily chart we're below the cloud with these downside targets still very much in trade but if we go to the one minute chart and I did a post earlier on LinkedIn this morning this was yesterday's price action on the one minute chart a few upside targets this morning really interesting we had a buying thrust given at seven o'clock then we moved sideways and then we activated at, at 8.30, we activated that target. That generated targets to 79, 90 and 80 uh, to happen around 10.15. Now we got to uh, just under 80 at that time. So really quite interesting how the targets were given and met. That's the jump in price. Now what we're, these are, this is real time this chart. So what we're waiting for now is to see any new price targets kicking in. Uh, and you can see we get them there th th throughout the day. So that will be very interesting on uh, emissions. Bearing in mind that the prevailing trend is bearish, we're just seeing those little counter trend moves and that's what the one minute chart's going to show you. If you're trading anything, you need to be watching those one minute targets. Looking at TTF, you can see here we've got strong upside targets on TTF to the upside, looking very bullish there, but we're just falling back away this morning and again you could go to the one minute chart there as well. Now taking a last look at German power, uh, again really interesting. Yesterday we posted this chart in German power, uh, this is the day before yesterday, this is Monday. These are the targets on Monday. Yesterday morning, these were the targets. We, we posted this at around 10 o'clock in the morning. These were the downside targets pointing to about 118, 119. Price then was 122. And if we look at German power this morning, uh, really very, very interesting indeed. We've got the 60-minute uh, chart here. These were the targets. This is through August and September. And you can see here we're sitting at that 117 level, being as low as 116. So yesterday's one-minute targets were met. And this is the 60 minute chart just playing through here. Uh, so really quite interesting that we're seeing that these targets are playing through. 111.50 is the next level. This target generated off this selling thrust yesterday giving us the target. So you really do need to be watching these targets on your, on your 60 minute chart and on your one minute charts. That's how the targets work. Just press the T key on any chart. We can easily do that. We can just clear and just press the T key and it just puts all the trends and targets on for you. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. Keep an eye on those targets. Bye for now.